horrifying footage has emerged from inside a vintage plane as it slammed into the ground in a horror crash that left two dead and a pair of Australian pilots fighting for life Douglas Haywood and Ross Kelly were among 19 people aboard the Convair CV340 aircraft when crashed into a dairy farm last week near South Africa's administrative capital, Pretoria Confronting mobile phone footage obtained by news.com.au and captured by a passenger sitting near the left wing showed the plane's engine engulfed in flames just seconds before impact This is getting bad. This is getting very, very bad, the man said in the video before he and a female passenger began speaking in Afrikaans Why are we shaking like this, the woman asked, to which the man replied, they've got to cut the engine so we can reach the runway Just before the aircraft hit the ground, the man said, geez, this is going to be bad The footage then turned black as the passengers' agonizing screams were heard echoing through the cabin Everybody out! Everybody out! Everybody out! A man was heard yelling before the video cut out Qantas pilots Mr. Kelly and Mr. Haywood, the former who is recently retired, are in a critical condition following the crash that killed South African flight engineer Chris Bernard and a farm worker The Sydney men, both members of the Wollongong-based Historical Aircraft Restoration Society, were rushed to Johannesburg Hospital with life-threatening injuries One of two factory workers taken to hospital later died of his injuries. Mr. Kelly's wife Lyndall was among the 19 injured. The 64-year-old aircraft was due to be flown to the Aviadrome Aircraft Museum in the Netherlands, where it was to put on display. Lisette Cars, a spokesperson for Aviadrome, confirmed the second death from the crash. The plane crashed into the building where that person was working, Ms. Cars told the Australian The first casualty was a person on the flight itself, a technical assistant from South Africa, and the second one was a factory worker from the building the plane crashed into We are all really shocked by the news today. It's really sad Mr. Kelly is a retired Qantas pilot with over 30 years of experience and a former Airbus A380 captain Mr. Haywood learned how to fly while he was in high school in Bankstown, in Sydney Southwest He joined the Royal Australian Air Force in 1976 before he started his commercial flying career with Qantas in 1984 He is also an Airbus A380 captain. We were deeply upset to learn that two Qantas pilots, one current and one retired, were on board the vintage aircraft involved in an accident in South Africa on Tuesday, Qantas said in a statement They are currently in hospital, being treated for serious injuries. This news has shocked the Qantas pilot community, and everyone's thoughts are with the families. We've reached out and are providing whatever support we can. A Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade spokesman said it was providing consular assistance to three Australians injured in a plane crash, the Daily Telegraph reported. For privacy reasons we are unable to provide further details, he said. The plane crashed about 5 kilometers east of the airport and four people were briefly trapped inside the wreckage A Twain Emergency Services spokesman said the injured were in a serious or critical condition and the scene was chaotic
the Aviadrome's marketing manager, Rosella Passier told AFP in The Hague that they are not sure what happened, but the plane experienced trouble shortly after takeoff 